Good morning again. Just to remind you, our resolution is resolved that all public secondary schools should devise and enact a plan to make condoms readily available to its students. We believe condoms should be available to students in schools because it lowers teenage sexually transmitted diseases, decreases the rate of high school pregnancies, and enables schools to better protect the health and safety of their students. We have stated a definition for both DegreeDirectory.org and Dictionary.com that secondary schools are grades 9 to 12. So there. Uh, also, <laughs> condoms are not already readily available to students. Let's take Upper Dublin students just as an example. Alex said students could go to Planned Parenthood and get condoms for free. Right here, I have the search results for the closest Planned Parenthood centers to our zip code 19034. And the first and closest center is in Narstown, 7.63 miles away. For teenagers who primarily in our country do not own cars, I don't call this readily accessible. Likewise, the negative said the students can go to hospitals. What Alec and Cooper fail to realize is, high school teens don't go miles away to the nearest hospital, let's say Adventist Hospital, just to get a condom. The negative also said the teens can go to pharmacies and get condoms. As Alex said, no questions asked. The, 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 LC, the ACLU article indicated from a recent survey conducted in Washington, D.C., only 13% of stores March where condoms were shelves, and another 33% of stores kept condoms behind the counter. Teenage male respondents said that 40% of the time, condoms, they were met with resistance or condemnation from store clerks. So clearly, pharmacies are not, no questions asked, and readily accessible to teenagers. Finally, the negative states that it's not the school's goal to be providing condoms. We vehemently disagree with this statement, because along with educating students, the schools also provide health and safety to their students. Providing condoms is knowledge to keep students healthier and safer. Physical education teachers conduct fitness testing twice a year to ensure that their students are meeting certain health standards. Schools provide goggles to students in 3D art class when working with wood, and even oven mitts to, to take out food from ovens in food nutrition class, because if they just taught students to safety precautions and didn't give them the safety products, Students can get burned, just like students can get burned by not having ready access to condoms when they need them. Schools have penalties to deter drug and alcohol in and out of school, even on weekends, even outside of the school district. These practices prove that it is a job, the school's job to protect the health and safety of their students. So having condoms readily accessible in schools is within the responsibility of the schools. On the website, Get Real With Yourself, Becoming a Parent, a teen mom explained, I was 16, a junior in high school with an eight-week baby girl. A condom could have made a difference in this girl's life. Don't let this happen to you or your fellow classmates. Vote affirmative.